What is going on, guys? It is Chris Hang Loose Cards. Got the uh, ALDS Game 2 on right now. Um, Josh Donaldson, Mr. Uh, Pimp a Single, is up right now for the Yankees. Um, Stanton just hit a, uh, a two-run two run oppo bomb off Shane Bieber just a little bit ago. Um, to be fair, even though it is the short porch for Yankee Stadium, it probably would have been a home run pretty much everywhere. Um, so, sad news in the world of baseball today. Bruce Suter, um, has passed away. Um, legend, absolutely, you know, Cy Young Award winner, six-time All-Star. Um, he, uh, won the, uh, World Series with the Cardinals in 1982. Um, uh, Cardinals Hall of Famer. Let me read you a few of, uh, Bruce's stats, man, just absolute, absolute legend. All right. Guardians got out of that one. Um, Bruce's, man, I mean, a 2.83 ERA, 2.8. Unbelievable. A 1.1 whip. Um, Cy Young in uh, 79 with the Baby Bears. Um, finished top five Cy Young votes one, two, three, four times. Um, and finished top ten in MVP votes one, two, three, four, five. Five times for a pitcher, man. It's awesome. It's crazy. Um, five years with the Cubs, four years with the Cardinals, three years with Atlanta. Um, man, sucks. It sucks. Um, I would show you a bunch of uh, Bruce cards, um, but uh, man, embarrassing, right? The Cardinals legend. Uh, Hall of Famer. I don't have very many one, uh, Bruce Suter cards. So, um, stuff like this happens. It's unfortunate, but this is when you, it's like kind of like a, kind of like a heads up. Hey, you need to, you need to get some of these while you can. But I do have a, um, I do have a stack. Yeah. I got a thick one in there too. But, um, just a few of them. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have a very difficult time remembering what cards I've posted and which ones I haven't. So I'm gonna go ahead and share what I got. Um, these are the ones I'm in the mood to share. Yeah, hey. Hang out, you know, why not? Um, Nestor Cortez is on the bump for the Yankees. He is fun to watch pitch. He, uh, he does some goofy stuff in his windup to throw off hitters, and it's fun. It's really fun. Um, okay. Here we go. Um, Albert Pujols, cleat card. I still I can't get over that this man has retired, man. He's done. Um, this was the first break that I ever bought into. Um, glad, super glad I did. Wish I would have never heard of breaks because I have bought into some other ones that, you know, man, it's so thick you can't even get it on the stand. <laughs> um, yeah, man, those breaks will get you. Um, I, let me take this out of the wrapper. I, uh, I am a firm believer that whenever you buy cards, you buy them for the image, right? Well, not always, right? Because some of them are just bad. But this one, this Jeff Bagwell with the flip-ups, man, this is, look at the Astros jersey, the flip-up glasses, young Jeff Bagwell. You can see he's got the mullet, kind of the tuff sticking out the back. This is 90s, man. 
This is 90s through and through, and I'm here for it. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, watching the uh, ALDS yesterday with the Mariners and the Astros, this guy, man, Jordan Alvarez, what an absolute animal. Man. Opposite field home run off, out of the Crawford boxes. Just oh, unreal. Unreal. Um, big Cardinal guy, right? Everybody knows I love the Cardinals. Harrison Bader. Love watching him go home and do his thing in New York. It's just, it's awesome. It's awesome. And I know that he is fitting in there. Man, we loved him in St. Louis, but I think he's a great fit for New York. Um, cruising right along. I'm uh, not trying to make this last 30 minutes. Hall of Fame, yes or no, right? Gotta be. Gotta be. He, uh... He was the last one that I remember pushing for 400. Um, man, I think he hit like 360 something. Man, way up there. Way up there. And I, I miss those days. I can't remember who I was watching the other day. I can't remember. But there was somebody that was talking about how they miss, um, they miss batters. You know, pushing for that 400 batting average and you know, hitting for average, and nowadays it's, you know, 280 is a great batting average, and I miss people pushing for the threes and the, the 315s, 320s. I miss those days. Um, you guys ever just, like, flip through, a like, a like a shoebox, you know, like a two-row shoebox, and you're, you're like, man, I cannot believe that, that I left that in there. Man, I was not prepared for this video. It's like, why in the world is that in my two-row shoe box? Um, how about a 59 Eddie Matthews? <laughs> I was uh, I was floored to see that in there. One of the best third basemen of all time, right? I mean, man, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, it's really, it's, you know. It's 59, so a lot of them were really uh, off-center. And I get it, you know, it's really dirty. But this is my first Ed, Eddie Matthews uh, card, so I was I, I remember getting it at a uh, at a local show. I just can't believe I just stuffed it in there with another two-row box. Shame. 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 Um, let's go with uh, 2011 second baseman for the St. Louis Cardinals turned coach Skip Schumacher this is the uh diamond I absolutely absolutely love that this guy is back with the club I mean so much shine right man I really wish I would have been back into collecting in 2011 but I wasn't I wasn't but I am now, and I'm 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 with some I'm with some good company. Um, I found this Pacific Crown Don Mattingly. Man, Pacific was just ahead of their time, right? I wonder how many of the people that worked for like Pacific Trading Cards now work for Panini. Because I feel like a lot of their stuff is, is, is very similar. And like the way that they handle things. And the way that they... Um, like the way they... Just the way they make certain cards. I... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, your... NL batting champ. Jeff McNeil. I was listening to a podcast where they were interviewing him. This guy's only been playing baseball since high school. He was a golfer. Um, and he's like, man, I'm not getting any college, college scholarships. Maybe I should try my hand in baseball. His brother was a big baseball player. He's like, maybe, 
maybe I should maybe I should try and do that. And now he's a bat, he's a batting champ. Absolutely insane. Um, last card I got to show you. I found this in a two row shoe box. Um, Sixty seven. The champs. Frank Robinson, Hank Bauer, Brooks Robinson. Um, Hank Bauer, kind of a uh, a big name for the Yankees. His whole career, um, finished his career with the Kansas City A's. But, you know, you got the Robinson boys just on the bookends there. It's just awesome cards. I think I picked this up for like $3 at a show. It's, you know, pe people sleep on the... Uh, on the multiplayer cards, and I don't understand why. That's two Hall of Famers. Two Hall of Famers on one card. So, that's all I uh, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Alright? Uh, I'm really hoping that the Guardians come back and... There's a bloop by Jimenez. And there's a run. Alright. One to two. One to two. I'm hoping the I hope the Guardians come back and, uh, and at least win win a game or two. I need, need every single uh, game possible. I want every single series to go five or seven games. I need every single one of them to do it. Um, this is it. This is this is the end of the season. I need it. I need as many games as possible. So. Man, the fans, so, um, I was a Yankees fan growing up. Um, I have, I have learned, I have learned, I, I now, I know better. Um, yeah, I just, I loved the history, I still do, I love the history. But, um, I got tired of the way that they were handling business. And, you know, they were just signing players instead of bringing players up. That really started to bother me. I actually stopped being a Yankees fan in 2009 when they won the World Series. Um, 2009, I was like, this is it. I'm done. I'm done being a Yankees fan. And I came over to my local team, the Cardinals. And then I, uh, I was in San Antonio, Texas at Lackland Air Force Base. Watching the Yankees win the World Series in 2009, I was like, oh, man. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. But the bleacher creatures at Yankee Stadium are so loud that the announcers seem like they're yelling so that they can talk over the, over the fans in the, uh, in the outfield. It's awesome. I love the Yankees. In postseason baseball. Love it. I love to root against them. But, man, it's fun. Love it. Absolutely love it. You guys have a great weekend. I'm going to get off here. I'm rambling. I'm bored. I'm hanging out. Um, yeah. All right. Hey. Go cards, right? See ya.